how to use stable diffusion after detailer for face or hand fix in automatic 1111. So for today, I'm going to show you how to use after detailer in order to fix distorted faces in the AI generated images here in automatic 1111. So the first thing that you're going to do is you want to go to extensions and then here I want you to click available, click load from. Once that's done, I want you to go to the search box and type after detailer. Okay, there you go. And I want you to click install. Okay, once that's done, go to installed. I want you to click apply and quit. So it will say here reloading, but what we are going to do is actually going to be different. So we're going to be closing this one. And then if you see here, it stops. So we are going to run again. All right, there you go. So we are now running on public URL. We're going to open this one. Now the checkpoint that we are using is this one. And then if we're going to go here to LoRa's, I have downloaded actually one LoRa earlier. This one, TCTH Fairy. Uh, it's this one. So this is the image that I want to try doing or playing later on. So yeah, let's go back to a text to image and then let's close this one. All right, here. So I am interested in this image. I'm going to open this one. And then, yeah, I'm going to try to recreate an image or something like this, something that involves fairy. So just paste it here as well as the negative prompt and then this one. Okay. And for the height, let's increase it to around 762 or yeah, uh, 768. Okay. And for the batch count, let's try to say about four. Okay. Four should be enough. And then, yeah, after that, we're going to click generate. Okay. And then we're going to check the images here. Uh, one is a little bit far, so you won't really see it. And then we have three other images. So let's try to check them one by one. Uh, and this one face is not that bad. I would say so. However, here, if you're going to take a look at the face, yep, yeah, uh, you'll be able to see that there really is a distorted image here. And the same thing, this one. So that's what we are going to fix. I know that some of you guys encounter this kind of problem. So let's try to find a way to fix that. Earlier, I've already added uh, an extension. It's uh, this one, a detailer. So we are going to enable that one. And then it's just a very simple thing that we're going to do. We can either copy this one or not. So if you're going to leave it blank, it says here the main prompt is going to be used. Now, the thing is, I want to try to do something. I'm going to try to introduce, say, freckles. Uh, and then that one. And then instead of that, kind of like a serious face, I'm going to say, for example, smile. Yeah, that's the only thing that I'm going to do. And let's see what this does with our images. So again, we have these four images and uh, let's try to generate again and hopefully it will work. Okay, so now we have generated another images. So let's try to see them. Okay, now you are not experiencing that distorted face anymore. So this is a first picture. And then for the second one, let's try to have a clearer look. Okay, yes, you see it smiling. So as you can see here, our image is now being generated with the additional here with the additional prompt that we have here. And then let's try to see the others. Okay, um, too small for us to see. Okay, this one as well. So let's try to check. Okay, so yeah, I believe that made a difference. All right, now that's a lot better. Now this time, instead of having these distorted faces earlier, uh, we are no longer getting them. So let's try to do something. Uh, okay, I'm going to close these. Let's try to see if we can resize it. Okay, so I'm going to upscale it twice. And for the denoise, let's see, it's 0 0.5. I don't want to introduce so much changes. Okay, there you go. All right, batch count, let's increase it to 10. So I want 10 pictures. And then let's try to generate one more time.
Okay, seems like we are done. So this is the batch image. Okay, let's try clicking it. Right, here we go. So here are the 10 pictures. Let's try to see them one by one. Okay, we got this one. Okay, that one as well. This woman is now smiling. The same thing here. This one. This one. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. As you can see, all of them are smiling. So as you can see, guys, now we are not seeing any distorted faces anymore. Uh, same thing here. Here as well. Yeah, these are done very well. And... Okay. Now that's amazing. So again, that's how you're going to use After Detailer in order to fix faces, face distortion, or hand problems in Automatic 11.11. 11. So congratulations everyone. I hope you learned from this tutorial and see you again soon.